let's take a look at performance management planning. Once you understand strategic goals and the position, the supervisor and the employee can formally meet to discuss and agree upon what needs to be done and how. The performance planning discussion includes a consideration of both results and behaviors as well as a development plan. Results refer to what needs to be done or the outcomes an employee must produce. A consideration of results needs to include the key accountabilities or broad areas for a job and what the employee is responsible for in terms of producing results. This information is typically obtained through the job description. A discussion of results also includes specific objectives that the employee will achieve as a part of each accountability. Objectives are statements of important and measurable outcomes. Finally, discussing results also means discussing performance standards. A performance standard is a yardstick used to evaluate how well employees have achieved each objective. Although it is important to measure results, an exclusive emphasis on results can give a skewed or incomplete picture of employee performance. Behaviors, or how the job is done, thus constitute an important component of the planning phase. A consideration of behaviors includes discussing competencies, which are measurable clusters of KSAs that are critical in determining how results will be achieved. An important step before the review cycle begins is for the supervisor and the employee to agree on a development plan. At a minimum, this plan should include identifying areas that need improvement and setting goals to be achieved in each area. Development plans usually include both results and behaviors. In summary, performance planning includes the consideration of results and behaviors and the development plan.